want to start a podcast but don't know how. You don't know what software to use. Is it worth the hundreds if not thousands of dollars required for a studio quality podcast? With all this to think about, you still have to take into consideration the content you have to create. Make everything easier with the script. Fun fact, I typed this whole affiliate disclosure and recommendation. I did not record it. Find out how it all works by downloading a trial today. Invest in yourself. Each time you do so, things begin to pay themselves. Link in the description. Hey everyone, Nancy here with Descript. Are you a video creator that's trying to break through the algorithms of YouTube? If so, try out TubeBuddy today. It's free and also allows you to undergo a free trial period of their highest tier. Legendary for 30 days. Just be sure to switch back to free anytime. This is an affiliate disclosure. Download TubeBuddy today at www.tubebuddy.com forward slash abstract discovery. That's tubebuddy.com slash abstractdiscovery. Find out why creators get ahead so you can finally step up to the chess match. With TubeBuddy, you'll always be one or more moves ahead. Find out today. Attacking Anxiety. My name is Joseph from abstractdiscovery.com. It might redirect you to another website, but that's the same thing. Not worry about it. Alright, so I started this podcast the same way that <laughs> I started this podcast because of like when I was like whenever I was like in weird situations and stuff and I couldn't control it. I, I would just take my phone out and then I, I didn't have anybody to talk to because yeah like I burned a lot of bridges in my life um I I basically made people uh I drove people away I guess you can say like I drove them away because you know like this, this is this is the only reason you should have a therapist let me let me tell you because like people think like going to therapy is like is like um gonna help them in those in the sense that like they're gonna become better as a person or they're gonna understand themselves but the problem is that that's that's just you got it all wrong that's not what therapy is for like therapy what therapy really is is to pay somebody to listen to your problems that's really what it is because you know in the in the end you already know what's wrong with you you know, you know, you already know that if, if if you're on drugs, you already know if you're anger, you're addicted to anger, you already know if you're addicted to sex, you already know all that stuff that you're that you like hide, you hide from your therapist. You know the source of your problems. You know, you know that you basically like the therapist is just there to listen to you. Is they're just there to hear you out because sometimes the therapy is actually just the you talking. That's what therapy is, like you expressing it, like with how you feel in that moment. That's therapy. So don't get it twisted, like thinking like therapy is is gonna get you like like the best advice in the world. It's not gonna give you advice. That they're actually not allowed to give you advice. You know what I mean? They're they're not. That's that's one thing a therapist can't do is give you advice. I know a lot of people don't. They think that like um, therapists give you advice, but they don't they're not allowed to what they do is they kind of deflect what you say to them and they kind of ask you so how do you feel about that okay so I say like alright I tell them I think I'm crazy okay so what makes you feel like you're crazy and then I'm gonna be like well I think I dress differently than other people okay one is there another reason like basically they just they just make you they just add questions on top of your your own personal beliefs and then they 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 allow you to kind of see things from a clear view but in the end they're not there to solve a problem they're only there to listen to your problems so that's the only reason why it's okay like in my opinion to get a therapist because uh, you should understand their role though their their role is not to be like this person who who helps you like to like understand like you know to to give you advice that's not true a therapist is there to listen to your problems and sometimes 
the thing we do is that we try to use our friends as therapists or our boyfriends or girlfriends you know like wh- whoever we try to use them as therapists and what happens is we lose them as a person in our lives because they know you have to understand that our friends and our therapists i mean our friends in our like you know relationship loved one whatever they're not our therapists like we're not we're, we shouldn't we shouldn't like apply it like our problems to them and if we do we're gonna make them run away we're gonna you know we're just gonna cause them to move away from us and i did that like i personally did that to my friends i did that to some of my exes like i you know i used to try to, to you know throw my all my issues onto them and then just it didn't it didn't come out the way that i thought it would and i never and i i didn't know it was being i didn't know myself that i was being selfish by doing that i thought like you know i'm like but we're friends like i would do the same thing for you but at the same time i think about it like no there's been times that people have done that to me and i kind of went away too you know when someone's that needy and someone's that like you know like in the you know in the trenches and stuff you kind of like you don't want to be around that energy because then you know it becomes like like you're babysitting in a way or it becomes like it's it's not even to be messed up as a friend it's like it's actually just human nature we don't want to be around like us humans we don't like being around that kind of uh you know you know you know what i'm talking about you know when you're um you see someone having a pity party and stuff like that you know you kind of want them to like get out the room and stuff you're just like oh i'll get out of here with that like you know you know what i'm, you know what I'm talking about right you know you already know like you like you, you you don't like when people are trying to like you know manipulate you and tell you like oh you don't no one no one likes me no one hates me or whatever no one wants to hang out with me you already know like if somebody said that to you like you know you know what dude shut up like you know this is the last time you hang out with me <laughs> you, you're way too high i don't like you when you get high you get lonely as fuck <laughs> no i'm just kidding but then like you know what i'm talking about right like so don't get it twisted that like a therapist is for uh like a therapist is forced is to have somebody there to solve your problems wrong a therapist is not there to do anything but listen to you and the thing is that we we sabotage our relationships by smothering our friends with our problems and that's not good because when we were up we were when we were with our friends the only thing we should be doing is like you know building our relationship with our friends like being positive and bringing up you know maybe memories that you guys can share together or maybe and you know because when you're only bringing yourself to the relationship and your baggage what you're gonna do is you're you're essentially you're essentially like giving them baggage too it's like damn now i have to feel sorry for you because it's like because you feel sorry so now i feel sorry and then they're not gonna want to hang out with you anymore because they were gonna, they're gonna re- always remember that like oh when i hang whenever i hang out with him it's always just this bullshit like about his life and this bullshit about like you know how like life is fucked up to him and you know what i mean like who wants to do that too? who wants to hang out with someone like that and i see i can see and like i'm a personal testimony that i did that to my friends you know i did that to a lot of people and i don't blame them for walking away from me and that's why i'm telling you right now that like yeah like it's okay to go to therapy like because you know you need somebody there who you can pay to listen to your problems you know our friends even if you pay your friends to listen to your problem they probably won't do they probably won't even be as good as having a therapist you might as well pay like someone for real you know that's why i think like you know talk space that's why i think like um better help that's why i think those things are actually pretty good because in a way like you don't even talk to the therapist you never you never really like i tried i tried um i think i tried better help you never i never talked to a counselor like like one-on-one like as if like we were webcamming no i never once talked to a counselor like that like the way it works is that you have someone to write to so i'll write so like basically like i'll write something and then whenever my therapist or whatever gets it then they'll write a response but it might not be on the same day it might not even be in the same week (laughs) sometimes it might take like it might take a it might take a little while because then yeah so like and then by the time like they respond you're already over that shit 
you know what I mean like a lot of us were looking for like if you if you're like on the other verge like if you're looking for a crisis if you're going through a crisis you don't want to use betterhelp.com or you don't want to use like talkspace.com because those are not crisis helplines those are not like um yeah you want if you want if you're going through a crisis you need to call like 911 or you need to call I think in the future it's going to be 811 or something or um uh, I'm sorry like I can't get the number right right now but um it's like pretty much um that song by uh what's his name oh man I'm so terrible at this uh what's his name well forget it just call you know just call like um on Google, just go, just, just just type in how you feel. Just say that I feel like this, like that. There's gonna be a number that pops up, and just call that number if you feel, if you ever feel like you're going through a crisis. Um. Yeah. Anyway, the reason why like I'm like blabbing all this out right now is because I'm pissed off because, like, I'm I'm late to work, and I'm not late to work because of. Well, I'm late to work because this, you know what I like. I don't, I don't want to blame any, anything on the car because it's not the car's fault that the car is acting like that. It's my fault. Even even though like my, you know, even though like it's really my car that's fucked, that's like messed up. In the end, it's my fault that I'm late to work because I think the more that you start to accept like you know the stuff that you can control, like I should have checked my car earlier to see if it was working but I didn't and that's why it's my fault that I'm not at work right now because if I had checked my car earlier to see if it was working then I wouldn't be in this position because then I would have thought ahead like kind of like what Dogface is the guy who um, got famous from that cranberry juice commercial he was skating you know how he he kept a skateboard in the back of his car uh, and just in case like you know his car wouldn't work so what he did that day was like, you know, his car doesn't work. So what did he do? He already had a backup plan. He's like, I'm taking out my board. So that's why he got he went viral because it's not it's not you know he went viral not because he tried he didn't try to go viral. I think I think he just it was it was just pure authentic. You know, it was just basically him being being uh, prepared. Him being prepared was the is a big part of success, because so, he was prepared, and the thing about success is that like you need to be prepared for it, you need to be ready for it, because success can come to you even if you're not ready, you know, even if you're not ready or if you are ready, but the best time for success to come into your life is if you're ready for it, because if you're not ready for it, oh man, it's gonna it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an ugly scene. It's gonna, it's gonna get you. It's gonna turn you to something that you, you're gonna wish that you never even, you never even tasted success. Not even just a drop of, you know, a resin of it. But yeah, I'm late to work and I'm pissed. You know, I'm pissed off because like, I don't know, man. Like. I, I want to upload something because I know if I upload it, like it's gonna probably get views. It, but it's also gonna be really embarrassing and it's gonna look like I'm cloud chasing or it's gonna look like you know, it's gonna look like a lot, like a lot of bad things. But I think I'm gonna upload it even if it's embarrassing and yeah, because I think a lot of people can learn from it. And um, yeah, I think a lot of people can learn from it. And I'm gonna. I think I'm going to upload it tonight. Or I'm going to start working on it. And then I'll upload it tomorrow night. Um, but I'm still thinking. Because like. It's kind of. It's really embarrassing. Like what happened. To me a few. A few months ago and stuff. And I haven't really spoke out about it. Because. I've been embarrassed. Like. You know. I'm not going to lie. I've been embarrassed. To say. But I think. Most people can understand. Or most people already know. What the problem. What, what it is. Um. And you know what? Like, it doesn't even matter. Cause like, the way I see life is that like life is 
basically they're always gonna be ups and downs right you're gonna be basically like when you're when life is good life is good you know you're gonna be on that winning that you know winning mentality your mind's gonna be on a different mindset you're gonna be like yeah 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 like you know i'm killing it right now i'm winning right now like right now is my time you know right now is is the you know this is my time right now like i'm winning but there's also going to be a time when you're going to lose and then most people they, they're going to dwell on that shit like, i'm like man fuck i lost and they're going to take it to you know take it too much into the head like man i'm a fucking loser like why, why should i get a job i don't want to get no fucking job because I'm a fucking loser, like, I'm just gonna stay home all day and shit, and, you know what, fuck it, like, you know, life, gave, you know, this is what, this is, you know, I blame, I blame everything, I blame everything but myself, and that's not good, I think where you need to start is start with yourself, like, blame yourself, like, um, you know, like, a lot of the things that, like, really, that we get mad about are actually, with, they're actually self inflicted wounds and what i mean by self-inflicted is that we we failed to to uh, make them an action like we failed to do something that would have prevented the reason why you got triggered in the first place you know you can only nothing can nothing in this world can trigger you but yourself and what i mean by that is that you control you can control what what really you know what really you want to be offended by what you accept yourself to be as and exactly like you're in a way it's it has to do with your confidence your self-esteem and your self-awareness like who do you think you are who do you know that you are you know what i mean it's, it's not enough to know who i mean to think you're um confident you can't think your way to confidence no, never in a million years you're gonna are you gonna be able to think your way that you're confident that you're better than anybody because you're not you know what i mean and if you convince yourself that you are then you're probably gonna, gonna be probably need some medicine or something because you're not you know no, none of us none of us at least like in the small space are entitled to anything but we're the most entitled when it comes to like when you know we're the mo- we act the most entitled when it comes down to like you know thinking that we're special that we're some kind of creation and creator that people are like can't wait to see but the truth is that we're not you know what i mean like we're not we're not like that much we're not like you know the person like this is for creators like whoever your inspiration is then you have a like you have to think about the expectations that you're gonna you're gonna have for yourself and your fans are gonna have like let's say like my favorite um youtuber is um will dasovich right and i want to be just like will dasovich well then that's gonna be pretty freaking hard because this guy this guy is he gets paid to travel across the world you know what i mean like and he actually he's actually a good director too He's a good director, cinematographer, like, that, that doesn't come, you know, that's, that's not easy, and we are, we are always gonna, like, as YouTubers, like, small creators, we're always gonna emulate our favorite creator, that's just the way it is, and, um, Will Dasovich actually does the same thing, he, he says, he even admits it, he, he, you know, his favorite, his favorite YouTuber is, K- is Casey Neistat, that's why his, um, his vlogs are very, very similar, to Casey Neistat like I mean he has his own but don't get it wrong like he has his own style but the way like um you can tell like you can tell like a lot of his work is very inspired by like Casey Neistat's um uh style of vlogging but um it's it's two different worlds so you know there's two way different worlds so, like you can um you can see that there's a, there's a there's a distinction but then like at the same time it's like you know I'm mad, but, you know, whenever, whenever you lose in life, whenever you take a loss or take a L, especially if it's about work, you know, this is only, I'm only in my second week of work, and I've already been late, I've already been, you know what I mean, and the truth is that, like, alright, so you might be mad, you might think, like, oh, I'm gonna lose my job again, and they're gonna fire me, and, well, you know, like, what I have to say to that is, like, so what? and you might be like what do you mean so what that's like 
that's like everything like you know i'm gonna have to i'm gonna lose my job again but and it's like it's like honestly if if you were a good worker and then you lost your job like don't you think you're gonna be the first one they call back when they need someone i mean even if like even if they let you go it's not it's not like you you can do anything about it you know what i mean like you can't really do anything about it. It's like it's not. It was not in your control. Like let's say, like if you're in my situation right now, where you're driving a car that's not working well, and you know what I mean, like it's not. It's not your fault, and you can't control that. So if you lose your job because, like, you know, maybe you're late all the time, and this time, like, you're really late because, like, your car is messed up, and yeah, like, let's say your car's been messing up for the whole time the first two weeks of your job then you don't want to work for that kind of employer anyway you because you want to work for employers who, who understand that there is a fucking struggle getting to work you know what i mean you got, they're, they get to understand that there's there's some employers that that get you like like if, as long as you let them know like you gotta be straight up honest and tell them like hey like if you hire me like there's gonna be some some shit that you have to know like first off like <laughs> like like first off i'm gonna let you know that like i'm not perfect like I, I might like i might excel like i might do a fucking a plus 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 job on doing this but then my biggest problem is getting to work because you know because of a b and c because a my car is fucked up b um I wake up late. C. Um, I'm a I'm a student, so like you know I stay up all night doing my homework, and by the time like I fall asleep, you know I, I that's why I like you know I miss work a lot, or I'm always late to work because like you know I'm a student too, like or like you know whatever reason you have, you have to like establish that at the beginning, like get to tell them straight up, like you know I'm not you know like I, I won't let you down. But the problem is just that, like, you know, I'm going through some issues right now, and it's not going to be like this forever, but it's going to be for like this for right now, just until um, until I get back on my feet. You got to be honest with them, because, like, you don't want to go into a job and tell them that you're, you know, that you're perfect, you're, you always got, you always come on time and stuff like that, and, like, you know, shit works for you. You don't want to, like, you honestly don't want to do that to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. Don't don't try to act like something you're not. And don't try to, you know, don't try to advise. Don't try to, I mean, don't try to give off this impression that you are, you are, like, you got your shit together. It's, it's not good. It's better to just let them know how vulnerable you are and if they're willing to invest in that. You know what I mean? Like, if they're willing to invest in that, then that's good you know what i mean at least you know like the, the at least you know that you know you have someone you have uh people who care about you who understand that you know you had a fucked up you know you had a fucked up last few months and so that is gonna bleed over into your employment and so we have to understand that right now but you have to understand uh, like you have to let them understand that like your present your present um you know, the, whatever's happening to you right now is not is not like a summary of who you are. You know, your struggle is not your story. Your struggle is is just is just a part of a part of your hero's journey. You know, what I mean, you have to go through these struggles and to become that hero that you think you are. You have to go through these these little small little little things that look like. They look like they should be pissing you off, but honestly, don't don't let it fucking get to you, because this is supposed to happen. It's a part of your journey. It's a part of making you who you are. It's a part of growing up. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this more in the video in the video I make. But this is just a little preview because I gotta go. I think I found I think I found my ride to work. Uh man, this sucks. I don't even I haven't even got paid yet for my first job, so I'm like running low on funds and I'm a starving I'm be I'm a starving artist right now. Like you know what I mean? Like 
like sometimes it's hard to make content like you know because just the fact that you know that you're a starving artist and that's like why should i create content for people if they're not gonna pay me or if i'm not getting paid for it because like i'm out here starving and then people are asking for content it's like but they don't even know that like like i'm struggling like if you guys really want content it's like do you we, are you guys willing to to like you know pay for my content are you guys willing to to like help me out so i can you know maybe buy a car and then and then get to work and then so i can make some money and then make some better content with that money i make from work like you know it's it's like people don't get it you know people want everything for free but the, tr- the truth is that even i support creators you know i got i got creators on my payroll not not, not saying that i give them a lot but i give them like you know like I, you know, I contribute on a, you know, every month to, like, some creators that I really watch every day. I mean, yeah, every day, and I only contribute once a week, and I still think it's a little bit, you know, it's a small bit, but you know what, it's like, it's like, it goes a long way for, for some, for creators, you know, it goes a long way for them, and I I don't think that I'm valuable at that, at that point where I want people to, to pay for my content, but at this point, it's like, it's not that I want you it's not that I want you to pay for the content that I made so far but I want you to I want people to be more invested in my channel in a way that like they can see the potential they can see that like their five dollars or their ten dollars is gonna actually make a difference and is gonna invest into my content so that I can make some better shit it's different it's uh, it's different too because when I don't have to worry about money then I don't have to worry about a job, then I can fully focus on content. It's like straight up content. But until then, like, this is going to be my life for right now. You know, like, and even though, like, I want to make content sometimes, like, it's like, damn, I can't even, I can't even, I can't make content sometimes. I'm just too, like, you know, too worried and stuff about, what when, when I'm gonna eat? When when am I gonna pay my bills? When am I gonna, you know, hit up? When am I gonna be able to like show my my dad like that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be okay if you know something happens to him? Like I know that stress is out apparent more than anything. You know what I mean? And that's why like, I need. That's the only reason. That's one of the reasons why I do YouTube, and I, that's the one of the reasons why I make content because I need to invest to some some kind of passive income you know some kind of some kind of uh trust and stuff that's gonna help me in the future so i'll see you guys in the next one peace out peace love and god bless